Warzone Mobile is having issues. People are being very loud, very vocal about all of the issues they're having. I personally have been enjoying the game. I've made a few videos now, and you guys have seen the game works really well on my phone. I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've played with the GameStar controller, I've played with the Backbone controller, I've played with my PS5 controller connected to a monitor the way it is right now. Now I understand that this is the latest iPhone, so the game is probably going to work better than most phones. And I saw someone say like, not everyone has an iPhone 15 Pro Max. I understand that and I'm here to address that and talk about why people are so angry at the game because most of the complaints are people that want to play Warzone because they like Warzone and their device is not allowing them to experience that the way it's supposed to be played or the way it's intended to be played. If we go over to the Google Play Store, it has a 3.2 star rating, 299,000 reviews, that's a lot of reviews. It has 10 million plus downloads. Those reviews might not even be updated. It might be over 300,000, over 400,000 by now. Who knows? Good concept. It is very difficult to play due to lags and glitches. Playing on a high-end Samsung phone, this game causes the phone to get extremely hot even without a case. When there are more than three players shooting in the same area or near the circle, when it's closing, the game becomes unplayable. I have been stuck spinning in circles multiple times. 470 people found this review helpful. Yeah, we agree with you. The game does not work. <laughs> That's crazy. Two stars. Okay. Oh, we got a one star here. Too many bugs. This is a great concept to improve on graphics the more the game is played, but my phone overheats, lags, all mechanics start freezing to the point where even exiting the game to try to restart the app is near impossible. The game constantly crashes if the bugs get fixed. This will be an absolutely phenomenal game. Until then, I'll be playing other mobile shooters that actually work. This one star review said it the best. This will be an absolutely phenomenal game when it works on people's phones. It's clear that it is unoptimized for most phones, lower end phones, especially mid range phones, even struggling, and some high end phones I've seen people say are having issues. This person has said they had a newer or they're playing on a high-end Samsung phone and they're still having these issues. So that's that could be the game's fault. The optimization is not there for some reason, especially on Android devices. Steel Toe Sneaker. All right, he, he gives it a four. Let's see why. It's fun. Is it perfect? No, but it brings back a great map and good gameplay on a mobile device. Graphics do get better the more you play. Nothing mind-blowing, but they do smooth out. Mobile Royale is a short match in smaller areas that are good for a couple of short games while waiting for a pizza or something. My boy grubbing, and when he's waiting to grub, he's playing Warzone. I don't get these one star reviews about crashing and glitches. Same, I have not had any crazy glitches or crashes or overheating. I also haven't really played the game for more than maybe an hour, an hour and a half. So I don't know how long people are playing for, for them to experience like their phone burning or their phone giving them a warning about overheating. Someone said that happened to them on the iPhone 15. I don't know how long they were playing for, um, what the temperature was already on the phone, where they're at. There could be other factors um, that would lead the phone to giving him that issue, but I personally haven't ran into that. I don't have a great phone, Galaxy S20, but I haven't had any issues. So far, it's enjoyable and I like it. So we had that first guy say he had a high-end Samsung phone, and this guy has an S20, which is an older Samsung phone, and the game seems to be working. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know why it's working better, maybe, on the S20 than whatever the other guy has. I mean, the other guy could have had a S20 or something lower. I don't know, or something slightly newer. He didn't specify, so how are we supposed to know? So there's something that we have to keep in mind and something to put into perspective here. Most people have a phone, whether it's an Android, whether it's an iPhone, they have a phone, the game is free, and people have access to the App Store or the Google Play Store, and they're going to try to download this game regardless of what device they have, and that game is going to do whatever it does on that device. It kind of reminds me of PC gaming where it's not like consoles where it's a fixed experience for consoles and then PCs, everyone has a different PC. So the game is going to react differently to whatever components are in that computer. This is the same case here. Everyone has different phones. The game is not meant for a lot of these phones. It's like trying to run Cyberpunk 2077 on a computer from 2010. Like it's just not gonna work properly. Not every phone has an amazing graphics processor or is modern enough to run this game even though the game is free and available to some of these people. Now switching over to the App Store. 
Call of Duty Warzone Mobile has 84,000 reviews, it looks like, and it has four and a little bit of the fifth star, so it's clear that people are happier playing on an iPhone or an iPad. I don't know. Apple products. 4.4 rating out of 5. And then let's see here. Almost there. Great game. Definitely recommend a controller or backbone because they did try to fit all the features of the full console slash PC version on the phone, which ends up taking a large amount of screen real estate. Also, even on newest iPhone and iPads, it's caused overheating issue for me in a room that's 60 degrees Celsius. See, this is a little bit more specific. They actually told us the temperature of the room. And like I said before, my phone has gotten hot. It does get hot when I'm playing, but I haven't had it overheat on me. With it having it run on performance fidelity settings, ignoring battery option, a BR match takes about 15 to 20% battery on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It is definitely power hungry. The controller lags when connected via Bluetooth or plugged in, but not on other games. Controller settings were minimal at the time, mostly just screen settings layout for traditional mobile playing with the touchscreen. Would like to be able to program paddles or controller and other buttons. You can if you can do it through the controller, like on the Gamester controller, you can hold the M button and the back paddle and then map whatever button you want to the paddle. But if you have to do it through software, um, I'm not sure how that works. Actually, the backbone does it through software and you have to go into the iPhone settings find the controller and then remap it there so there are options but obviously people are going to have different experiences different um, devices and things they're going to try it with it might not work for them I don't know I would like to be able to program paddles on the controller read that switch play style to tactical okay that I didn't see that in there so I don't think there is a tactical but I agree there should be a tactical option in the game rather than having to remap buttons just to get tactical on your game Overall, great game, especially right at release and sure with server demands being high, it's not bad. Yeah, considering how the game has 10 million downloads, I don't know if it tells us how many downloads it has on Apple. Oops, I'm already clicked into this review, so we're not going to look, but the game has hella downloads. It's booming right now. Would hope to see updates come in the next few days slash weeks at the latest to address issues because right now it's more nostalgia of maps keeping me and many others hooked as opposed to gameplay and performance. So this is someone who likes Warzone. They clearly have played Warzone before and they're relying on nostalgia to enjoy the game. Anyone who already likes Warzone or MW3, MW2, will like this game if they had it running properly. The way the game looks, the way the game feels when it's actually working properly, it feels a lot like playing on the actual Warzone on the PS5 or on your computer. That's obviously what they were going for, an almost seamless experience between the mobile version and the actual PC and console versions. It just feels normal to switch between them. You know how to play, you know where everything's at, you know how the game works, functions, movement, all of those things translate over to uh, the mobile version. They were definitely smart in putting an old map that everyone wants to play on the mobile version just so that people would play the mobile version. Although I do think Rebirth Island, if I'm not mistaken, is coming to the actual Warzone game. All right, here's a five star. Pretty dope, could use some improvements. Honestly, I enjoy playing this when I'm at home and bored. I haven't been playing much video games lately and so this has been pretty fun. People giving bad reviews are either on an old device or nitpicking. I have an iPhone 15 Pro, and so I'm able to run the game pretty smoothly, and the graphics and controls are solid. I use touch controls. The main thing is to just take the time to figure out a control map that works well for your playstyle and device. Like others have mentioned, it drains your battery. This isn't a game I'd play if I was worried about my phone dying and were unable to charge it afterwards. Yeah, if you're on 10% and you're waiting for your pizza, I don't think you want to run up Warzone Mobile in those you know, last 10%. Make it make sense. Yeah, it drains your battery, but are you playing somewhere where you have access to a charger? Why are you playing Warzone when you have 5% and you have to book an Uber? I don't know. If you're waiting for an Uber, don't play Warzone Mobile. Also, I hate that when you view calling cards, it doesn't show the challenges. See, so something that I'm noticing about the positive reviews is that they actually have room to criticize what's in the actual game, things that are part of the game and not why the game doesn't work. So the positive reviews are like, yeah, my game works and now I can focus on, okay, what's actually wrong with the game or what do I not like about the game or what's not, you know, working for me in the game. I'm sure I'm missing others as well. In the next COD, I hope they bring back customization how it was in Advanced Warfare. I hate the fact that to get any cool skins, you have to pay 15 to 20 bucks, five stars because I still enjoy the game. But like I said, they can still improve a lot still.
So on a high-end PC, you know, streamers, gamers, people that actually play Warzone and don't have trouble running the game have time to focus on what they don't like about the game. I saw someone in the comments say, the mobile version has all the same issues that the actual Warzone has. So obviously there are flaws and things that are wrong with the game itself in the mechanics or in the, you know, weapons or balancing, whatever the case is when it comes to the actual gameplay of the game. The game has its issues. All right, cool. So that kind of gives you an idea of how people are feeling about Warzone Mobile right now. A lot of people having issues and then the people that have less issues running the game are just more focused on what's actually wrong with the game, which is fine. Uh, this game is very similar to the actual Warzone. So if there's something you don't like about the actual Warzone, odds are you're probably still not going to like those same things in the mobile version. And vice versa, the people that absolutely love Warzone the way it is or the way it is on console will absolutely love the mobile version and the fact that they can just have it in their pocket at their disposal at any given time. And I've been idle for too long so I have to reconnect my DualSense Edge controller. Let's do that. And as you can see there are a lot of cars connected to my Bluetooth, my phone. Bluetooth has kind of been passed around in a number of whips. I do work with cars so it makes perfect sense. Alright, controller's connected and let's go ahead and jump in here. Hopefully we don't lag too bad, that's my main complaint. For whatever reason, I'm lagging in a ridiculous fashion. It's absolutely atrocious. So as a primarily controller on mobile player, I just wish that the interface was completely accessible through the controller. I don't get why only the menu is like controller friendly. I would love to make a class without having to touch my screen if I'm using a controller. I don't know why it's like this, but hopefully they can integrate that in the future. Maybe it wasn't a main focus at launch, but I hope to see that change in the future. I'm addicted to my chopper. I got a strange affliction. Bars. So far, so good. No lag, at least on the off the jump. I'm, a, I'm about to curse this game. It's probably just going to start lagging like crazy. All right. Uh, pink guy, you will be my friend. Oh, I'll help you. Green. Oh, he's over here. Oh my god, my sensitivity's bad. Where are you running to, buddy? Excuse me? Oh my god, the sensitivity's so bad. I'm about to start. What happened to my HUD? Ew. I need to change that. Okay, thank god. I need to change my HUD. This is bad. My HUD is, for some reason, not set to controller. Oh, it's because I was playing... I was playing touch controls on my on my lunch break yesterday. <laughs> this guy did... What is this guy doing? Does he know about me? Yeah, buddy. Watch your back next time. You too, buddy. I don't know what you're doing. Who's next? Oh, I hear somebody. Oh my god, he saved my life. Alright, definitely gotta reload this. Do I not have plates? Oh, we have plates, we have plates. I like how it still says press Y. That's funny. But it says L1 and R1. How does that make sense? Yeah, I'm not even gonna question it. Oh my god, my aim, my aim, my aim, my aim. Wait! <laughs> My sensitivity is still too slow. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to go to like 20. Is 20 an option? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. 10. Oh my god. Oh my god, someone's here. Uh, I just wanna change my sense, please. I'm innocent. Please, 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 please. Gas is coming. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... At least played up. At least played up. I just want to change my sense, man. Just get out of this building. Please. I beg of you. Is he chasing me? He's chasing me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I blew it. <laughs> I took you with me, buddy. 
Oh my god, wait. Maybe? Save the stimmy for the last second. Oh my god, I made it out of that. That's crazy. Oh my god. No plates. Oh, yeah, I have one. Oh, I have five. What am I saying? Someone's stimming in here, patching it up or something. I'm scared. Alright, now's my chance. Oh, no, no, no. Gas. I don't trust. Hold on. This whole game, I just want to change my sensitivity, and I just haven't been able to do that. Kind of have to get out of here right now. Teammate, get up. Oh my god, I think I just saved him. You know what? We're just going to play with the sensitivity. It is what it is, bro. It's too late in the game now. We should probably get in the zones. Someone's here, too. Sorry, teammate. I thought you were bad. This doesn't look safe at all. Where? Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm cooked! I wish I was like that. Come here, buddy! Please, just let it- just let it happen. Where's the fight that's happening down there? Someone's still in here? Oh my god. Cool, cool, cool. Solid. I think we have the best positioning right now. Oh, I see him. I don't know where he went. I got you, buddy. Oh my god, yes, sir. Okay, that was calm, collective, easy. We did it. I just want to see myself right here on the chopper. I can't believe it. This might be the first full game where I didn't lag. That's insane. Wonderful. I definitely had to tweak that sense the whole game, but it's fine. Your mom? <laughs> oh, man. Well, for those that are having issues, this is what the game is supposed to play like. Um, it's pretty fun, as you can see. So hopefully they can uh, optimize this for mid-tier devices, lower-end devices, fix the issues that people are having even with high-end devices, and just start updating the game slowly. I understand it's new, there's going to be issues, but hopefully we see this change over time because it is definitely worth playing when it's working properly. Seven kills, four redeploys. Is that bad? It's, pro it's probably bad. I, we're not talking about stats here, all right? I'm not, I'm not the best player there is. I appreciate each and every single one of you that has clicked on any one of my videos. As always, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.